Hello, welcome back to my video. Normally I do camping or camping related videos. This one's gonna be a little different. I got a couple of projects I wanna do. I'm gonna show you one of them right now. My old pickup truck. Had a lot of problems. Been a good one though, I've had it for years. It's uh, it's the 3.9. Uh, 5.9, I'm sorry, 360. Had somebody to sneak in uh, several months ago and cut the catalytic converter off of it. And also got a, a van right there. Cut the catalytic converter off of that. So I had to roll back to come get this one, take it to the shop and put a new catalytic converter on it. Then when I got it, ready to come home I put water in it it was low in water I found out that the block was busted so pretty much toast on that transmission been going bad for a couple years you know Dodge transmission that's where they are the truck the van same motor same transmission so you know what I'm going to do or want to do I'm going to take the motor and transmission out of the van and put in the truck <clears throat> the truck's got like 180,000. The van's only got like 80,000 or 80 something thousand. So it runs good, or it did. It's been sitting a while. I hope it still does. That's what I want to do. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a job. I hadn't ever done that before. I, I have changed the motor in a vehicle before, but this is two at one time pretty much but I'm not gonna get the van back going after I get the motor transmission out get the truck going I got a car trailer right over there you see it I don't know if you can but it's right there somewhere somewhere you can see it right there maybe I'm gonna haul the van to the scrap yard and get whatever I can get out off the scrap to help pay for the swapping these out because I know there's a couple things I'm going to have to do to the van. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. One thing that's going to have to be done, I think the, the intake on this one is different for some reason than it is on the van. So that's going to have to be changed, I think. It might not, but probably. But I love this old truck, and I need it, because when I get it going, I mean, I need it around here on the farm, but I need it to pull a boat, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. It's another project. But when I get it done, I'm going to get me a camper cover for it, and I'm going to use it for camping. I can drive it somewhere and sleep in the back of it, or I can put carry a tent, whatever I need to do. But there's a lot of possibilities and once you have a truck you pretty much pretty much addicted to one you about gotta have one from then on but uh here's the van it's hard to see the motor in the van because it sits way back in there but i'm thinking it might not be a different intake i can't tell from here but I kind of think it is, but I hope it ain't. I hope it'll be an easy swap. Most of the stuff, I think, is pretty much the same as it is on the truck. But that's what I want to do. It's got a good set of tires on it, brand new almost. I had it. I've had it for years, but the tire's been on it for, I'm going to say, three years maybe. I ain't got like 10,000 miles on them. They 10 ply. The ones on the truck's 10 ply, but they're wore out and old. The only difference is the truck uses a wider tire than the van. That makes the wheels wider, but I'm just gonna put the wheels and tires on the truck. It's not about like an inch narrow, but it'd be good. That's good tires, I like them. A Little bit of grip, cause that thing won't go nowhere. But that's what I got in mind. Anybody ever done this before? 
I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's got to be done. I can't find anybody to do it. Nobody wants to tackle it. Which it saved me a lot of money if I do it myself. Which, by the way, I got a donation button on the channel on my homepage. You can go to it, PayPal. If you want to chip in a little money to help on this project or the boat project, either one, it'd be appreciated. I always need a subscriber. I just started, don't have any subscribers at this point. So subscribe, like, if you like the video, share it with the friends. You know, anything you can do that would help would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, you can see how tight that's going to be. But all this right here, it unbolts. I don't think that'd be too much of a problem. Just take all this, take it out. Radiator, condenser, all this. And even if I break some of it or have to use a saw or a cutting torch to do it, I'll do it because, like I say, the van's going to the scrap yard. I'll just throw all the stuff in the back once I get all my stuff out of the back. I pretty much use it for storage right now. But I'm going to get rid of some of this junk sitting around my house. Got to clean up and get stuff in order but the van was good I've been to California and a couple of times pulling boats and stuff like that I used to do that I might get back in doing some of that that'd give me an opportunity to go a lot of places and do some camping all kinds of stuff batteries dead in this dead in the truck so I'm probably gonna have to get a new battery for the truck once I get it going it They'll jump off and I can move them. This, this one don't have a catalytic converter on it. I'm not going to put one on it. It sounds like a race car when you crank it up. It's loud. But I only have to go right out here, get on the road, go up the road to the tree line. There's a driveway that goes back into the woods back there. There's where my shop's at. I'll have to clean some of the junk out of the shop so I can get in there. I'm going to take the van first, get the engine out of it, the transmission out of it. Then I'll use the truck to pull the van out, out of the way. Then it'll be the truck's turn to get in there. Get the transmission and motor out of that. Check, out, check everything out on this one, make sure it's the same as that one. Put it back in. Hook everything up, fire that thing up, we'll be ready to roll. Well, we'll be ready to do some other things before we roll, but it'd be that much closer. That's the dream. I hope I can make it come true. It's going to be a job. I'm just concerned if I got enough tool that I need to do it. But I hope so. I'm not much of a mechanic. I'm more of a body person. I like body work. Used to do it, but hadn't done it in a while. But we're going to see. Look at the truck again. I didn't give you a good view of it. Yeah, it's been sitting a while. You can tell. But it's not near as bad to work on. You got a little bit more room. All this has to come off, which it unbolts. Everything. Don't know what that is down there. Piece of rubber is all falling like right here. Somewhere. Like that, I think. Something similar to that. Yep. Yeah. I like my old truck. Alright, let me let me show you the boat now. It's got a couple things, a couple things to do to it, but I need to get the truck done before I get the boat because I can't pull the boat without the truck. But the boat I've had for years, a long time, and it hadn't been in the water. I can't even tell you how many years. The sticker, the last time I bought the sticker there is 2013. And when I bought it, it'd been set, that's a three-year sticker when I bought it. 
but it had been sitting for a year or so without being in the water, so you can do the math there. But it had been sitting outside a long time. I put it in here in the carport to, you know, try to keep it out of the weather. Well, I think the sun has done faded the gel coat on the top. It's filthy dirty, but clean it up is a help of a lot. But probably gonna have to sand and buff it, polish it. It, I hope that it'll help. But you see spider webs, leaves, stick, oil container, hummingbird. Way outdated. How long? That's how old it is. I'll give you a look down inside there. Bunch of leaves. When I bought the boat, it didn't have nothing. It didn't have seats. Didn't have a steering wheel. Didn't have none of the gauges. Windshield was broke. None of the seats at all. Even the fishing seats. No trolling motor. No motor. Engine. Not even a trailer. It was just a hull of the boat. And it had been damaged. It came off a trailer. They stripped it down and put it on a new boat and sold this at auction. And you can see some of the stress cracks in the side I didn't fix, which it's solid. It's just more or less a gel coat crack. But there was a couple holes in the bottom. Not real big, but big enough. I had the boat flipped up that side down refiberglassed everything, painted it. Didn't do anything above the white. Nothing above there other than maybe sand buff a couple spots. Well, I think I did paint, but back here on this corner, it was scratched up pretty bad into the blue. I matched it the best I could with paint, which is starting to fade now. You can kind of see right here back, starting to fade compared to this. But we're not worried about that too much. It's a 1979 boat. And the motor's the same motor. I bought that second hand from a marina. It's 175 Johnson. It's only rated for 150, but if you had 175 horsepower, I paid a fortune for that thing even back then. Shouldn't have, but I did. But it was low my, uh, low hours. It didn't have like 15, 20 hours on it at the most. And I hadn't used it hardly any. So it ain't got probably 30, maybe 40 hours tops on it. But it had been crunking a couple of years now. I used to crank it up every year at least once or twice just to let it run. I got a thing to put on the foot, run water through it so it won't get hot. But I noticed the uh, last time I had it running, the got three carburetors, three two barrels, because it's a V6. It's not fuel injected. The year, that's why I got this motor, because the man who bought this motor on his boat, the very next year they came out with fuel injection. So he wanted fuel injection, so he swapped this motor in for a fuel injection. That's why I got it. But it's got a four blade prop which is too much. I should have went with a three blade because this didn't come with a prop when I bought it. I bought a four blade. Had a jack plate on it, but it was a little bent from when it was came off the trailer, so I took that off. I had never bought one. Put it on it because it rides too high in the water now with that four blade, and that's too much motor. It'll go, I've had it about 75, and I won't try that again because I thought I was going to die. It was almost in the air. And that wasn't all the throttle. It was, if it would stay on the water, it would go 80, low 80s anyway. But that's where we at. <clears throat> Clean this thing up. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take the plugs out. Put some kind of lubricant down in it. Probably penetrating oil or something like that. And make sure, hopefully it's not stuck or seized up. I don't think it will be, but I'm going to do that just in case. Then I'm going to turn it over and make sure. But before I start it up, because the carburetors are leaking around the gasket and all, I'm going to take them off. I'm going to take all three of them off. 
put new gaskets on it, put it back on there because that's one thing you don't want. You don't want to, I don't want to fire. Then uh, crank it up, see how it runs. Have to get three new batteries because all the batteries is old. And when I bought these batteries several years ago, I bought three brand new ones. Put them in here. Never been to the lake since since I put them in there. And now they're no good. So I've got to buy three more. There's the start battery. That's the oil reservoir for the engine. It is oil injecting. Two batteries for the trolling motor. You got your bilge pumps, live well pumps, and all that good stuff down in there. I like that thing there. It's a switch for your live well. The old boat I used to have, you had to stick your arm down there and put a plug in the live well to keep the water in. This one's got a lever up there that cuts it off where it won't run back out if you want to save the water. So that's handy. I like that. It's got storage. It's double live well, split live well. It don't have a live well up front, but it's got a split live well. I don't know if you see it. The light's not too good in there. It's a pretty big live well. And splits in half for if you're fishing like a tournament with you and a like a club tournament with you and your fishing partner. <laughs> You can put your fish on each side, keep them separated. Hummingbird. I like that. I like the flasher type for like shallow water and running down the lake better than the the LCRs or whatever they're called. I need one up front, but I don't have one. I might do one, put one up there once I get going. But this right here, you can donate to the project too if you want to help me on that. It's got a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Hope everything works yet. Yeah, the trolling motor should, because I had to buy that new, but it's several years old. I even built the trailer. I had to steal. Got it at a place I used to work. Had it, wanted to get gone, so I, I volunteered to take it. And I've already built a couple trailers and everything out of it. Still got more. Brand new tires, bought it. They probably dry rotted by now, because about seven, eight years old. And I think I pulled it. They probably got 20 miles on the tires. That's how long it's been sitting. But I built pretty much everything on the trailer. I even built the axle. I bought spindles and stuff because I couldn't find one the right, already made the right width. So I had to make me one. I like doing things like that. And when I started this channel, I was just going to do just camping and camping related. But uh, I don't get a chance to do enough camping to have one up every week. So I'm going to start adding some odd and end things in. Fill in. Hopefully, have some things that you like. Hopefully, some things that you can learn by. I know it'll be a learning experience for me. But, like I said, if you can subscribe, that would help me out a lot. Because before you can even get on YouTube, before you can even get any money whatsoever, you got to get 1,000 subscribers and maintain that every year, at least. And 4,000 watch, watch hours every year. So we got a long way to go. I need your help to get there. Can't do it without you. Some of the projects, if you can uh, help me out on that, that would help. Camping, oh, like you like you all know, it costs us to do anything this day and time. A lot more than it should, but that's the way it is. But I look forward to getting it out. Plus, I'm going to use the truck for camping, like I said. And there's a couple places on the lakes when I get this going and the truck and all going places I want to go camping on the lake and the only way you can get to some of them is by boat. I know I could rent a canoe or borrow a canoe or something like that but why why paddle when you can drive up in a 
bass boat. Plus, I want to show you some bass fishing. Not really good at it, but you get the boat. What I always say, if you get the boat pretty and shiny, flashy sitting out there, even if you don't catch anything, you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's about all I can do is look like what I'm doing. But I don't know, I catch a few. Used to could, been a long time. Look forward to doing it again though. But it's got a lot of work to do. A lot of leaves to get out of there. Enough right there I can make mulch. I didn't show you the other side. Let me go over here and show you. If I can get over there without falling down, breaking a leg. Get past all the spider webs. I know this thing's gonna fill up with trash probably when I open it, but that's all right. We'll clean it. Oh, oh. Well, it's clean in there where they ain't, <laughs> where they ain't been open. Brand new rope there. Light. That's the rod box. I know it's little, but you stick your rod tips in. They go way up in there if you need to. Because it's hollow back up in there. I don't have any in there. I got everything out. People steal your, steal your Cadillac converters off of your vehicles. They'll steal fishing equipment, too. Sorry, rascals. That is a cooler. Yeah, I don't use it because it don't hold ice worth anything. You buy a bag of ice and it'd be melted before the day's over. I usually carry a cooler and just stick it up under my console there out the way. Let me get up there a little bit. This is storage. This is where I put my tackle boxes. Pretty big. It'd make a good live well if it, if it was made for that. The old boat I used to have had one up here. But this one don't. It's, like I said, it's got, let me flip this thing around with my other hand. Like I said, it's got two, it's got a big live well split in the two. It's aerated and all that stuff. Here's some other storage. I don't think I got nothing in it. I don't remember. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's empty. I got everything out. And there's another one just like this on the other side. But it's a solid boat. These are all made out of aluminum. Oh, yeah. I think it runs good. It's cold natured. It takes forever to get that thing. What's called running good when you first start it up because it's cold nature, but once you get it going the first time, let it warm up a little bit, you don't have no trouble. The time you hit start, it'll fire right up. At least it used to, and I hope it still does. But, yeah. That tire looks, starting to look bad. I'm hoping they'll be okay for a while anyway. Cause like I said, they're brand new, just old. I haven't used them. A lot of junk down there. But look how filthy that is. But up underneath that, get all this dirt, trash, stuff off. I think it'll shine pretty good. And if it don't, I'll sand and buff it. Sand and buff it and get that thing looking better. But that's pretty much it. I got three projects. Really, well, really two, but if you count the van as project and it's halfway a project because I need to get motor and transmission out so it's gonna be a while I don't know how long I also got a tractor down there I need to get going to but it I'm not going to show it yet. but uh get my truck going get the boat going and get camping again fishing so hope you enjoyed it uh Please subscribe. It's free. It don't cost nothing to subscribe. You can hit the bell icon and it'll notify you upcoming videos. Or if you don't want to get notified, just don't click the bell. You still subscribe. 
if you like videos hit the like button that helps the algorithm or whatever you call it I don't fully understand all this stuff yet but we trying I appreciate you watching come back visit all my other videos see what you like if you like them hit the like button you, they got a dislike you can hit that if you want to I hope you don't but you can if you want to donate if you want to that'll help out a bunch subscribe and we'll talk to you later I'll keep you updated if you want to see it oh yeah you can leave comments if you want to comment on a certain one please do I look forward to hearing from you look forward to seeing you until next time See you in the woods.